Hello, good morning, student. I am Professor A. V. Brahmane. Today, in this video, we will start unit number five. The name of the unit number five is parallel algorithms, sorting, and graph. Under this unit number five, we will learn this many topics: issues in sorting on parallel computers, sorting networks. bubble sort and its variant quick sort bucket and sample sort and other sorting algorithms dear students sorting is a very important part of parallel systems sorting is one of the most common operation performed by computer because sorted data are easier to manipulate that randomly than randomly stored data many algorithms require sorted data sorting is of the additional importance to the parallel computing because of its close relation to the task of routing data among processes which is essential part of many parallel algorithms many parallel sorting algorithms have an investigated for a variety of parallel computer architecture this unit present several parallel sorting algorithms for pram mesh hypercube and general shared address space and message passing architecture sorting is defined as the task of arranging an unordered collection of elements into monotonically increasing or decreasing order specifically let us S yes is equal to set of a1, a2, an be the sequence of n element in arbitrary order. Sorting transform S yes into monotonically increasing sequence S yes dash equal to set of a1 dash, a2 dash up to an dash such that a i dash less than or equal to a j dash for i is less than or equal to i. sorry one is less than equal to i less than equal to j less than equal to n and s yes dash is a permutation of s yes. sorting algorithms are categorized as internal or external in internal sorting the number of elements to be stored is small enough to fit into process main memory in contrast external sorting algorithm use auxiliary storage such as tapes and hard disks for sorting because the number of elements to be stored or sorted is too large to fit into memory this unit concentrate on internal sorting algorithm only sorting algorithm can be categorized as comparison based and non comparison based comparison based algorithm sorts an unordered sequence of elements by repeatedly comparing the pairs of elements and if they are out of order exchanging them this fundamental operation of comparison based sorting is called as compare exchange the lower bound of sequential complexity of any sorting algorithm that is comparison based is big o and log n where n is the number of element to be sorted non comparison based algorithm sort by using certain known properties of the element such as their binary representation or their distribution the lower bound complexity of this algorithm is big o of n we concentrate on comparison based sorting algorithm in this unit although we will briefly discuss some of the non comparison based algorithm in later on section okay so dear student uh, this is the overview of the sorting one of the most commonly used and well studied kernels sorting can be comparison based or non comparison based the fundamental operation of comparison based sorting is compare and exchange the lower bound of any comparison based sort of n number is big o of n log n we focus here on sorting that is comparison based sorting algorithm now what is the benefits of sorting 
because of sorted data are easy to manipulate than randomly stored data many algorithms require sorted data sorting is of additional importance to parallel computing because of its close relation to the task of routing data among processes which is an essential part of many parallel algorithm now what is the formal definition of sorting already i discussed but on this slide you can see what is the definition of sorting sorting is defined as a task of arranging an unordered collection of elements into monotonically increasing or decreasing order specifically let us yes be the set of a1 a2 an be the sequence of n element in arbitrary order sorting transform the yes into monotonically increasing sequence yes dash that is a dash 1 or a1 dash a2 dash an dash such that ai dash less than equal to aj dash or for one is less than equal to i less than equal to j less than equal to n and yes dash is a permutation of yes sorting may be internal or external sorting now what are the issues issues in sorting on parallel computer dear student parallelizing a sequential sorting algorithm involves distributing the elements to be sorted onto available processes this process raise the number of issues that we must address in order to make the presentation of parallel sorting algorithm clearer now see where the input and output sequence are stored now as shown here where the input and output sequence are stored this is one of the issue in sorting on parallel computers okay now in a sequential sorting algorithm the input and the sorted sequence are stored in the processor's memory however in parallel sorting there are two places where these sequences can reside they may be stored on only one of the processes or they may be distributed among the processes the latter approach is particularly useful if the sorting is an is an intermediate steps in another algorithm in this unit we assume that input and sorted sequences are distributed among the processes consider the precise distribution of the sorted output sequence among the processes a general method of distribution is to enumerate the process and use this enumeration to specify the global ordering for sorted sequence in other words the sequence will be sorted with respect to this process enumeration okay so the first issue where the input and output sequence are stored in parallel sorting there are two places where the sequences can reside they may sorted they may be stored on only one of the process or they may be distributed among the processes the latter approach is particularly useful if the sorting is an intermediate step in other algorithm okay now see here another issues in this uh, uh, sorting of the parallel computers how comparisons are performed a sequential sorting algorithm can easily perform a compare and exchange on two elements because they are stored locally in the processes memory in parallel sorting algorithm this step is not so easy if the elements resides on the same process a comparison can be done easily but if the elements resides on different processes the situation becomes more complicated another that is third issue of the sorting on parallel computer is one element per process consider the case in which each process holds only one element of the sequence to be sorted at the some point in the execution of the algorithm a pair of processes that is pi pj may need to compare their elements ai and aj after the comparison pi will hold the smaller and pj is the larger of ai and aj we can perform comparison by having both processes sent and their elements to each other each process compare the received element with its own and retains an appropriate element in our example in our example p 
pi will take the smaller elements and pj will take the larger elements of ai aj as in the as in the sequential case we refer to this operation as compare and exchange now figure uh, shows a uh, figure is available here this is the figure this figure shows each compare and exchange operation requires one comparison step and one communication step we assume that process pi and pj are neighbors and the communication channels are bidirectional the communication cost of compare and exchange step is ts plus tw where ts and tw are the message startup time and per word transfer time respectively in commercially available message passing computer ts is significantly larger than tw so the communication time is denoted by ts okay so dear students see uh, there are more than one element per process is also the uh, issues in uh, sorting of parallel computer so what is this more than one element per process a general purpose parallel sorting algorithm must be able to sort a large sequence with relatively small number of processes let p be the number of processes p0 p1 p p minus 1 and let n be the number of elements to be sorted each process is assigned a block of n by p elements and all the processes cooperate to sort the sequence let a0 a1 ap minus 1 be the block assigned to processes p0 p1 p minus 1 respectively we say that ai less than equal to aj if every elements of ai is less than or equal to every elements in aj when the sorting algorithm finishes each process pi holds set ai dash such that ai dash less than equal to aj dash for i is less than equal to j and this can be represented more detail as in the one element per process case two process pi and pj may have to redistribute their blocks of n by p elements so that one of them will get smaller n by p elements and other will get the larger n by p elements let ai and aj be the block stored in process pi and pj if the block of n by p elements at each process is already sorted the redistribution can be done efficiently as follows each process sends its blocks to other process now each process merges the two sorted blocks and retain only the appropriate half of the merged block we refer to this operation of comparing and splitting two sorted block as compare and split now this compare and split is also shown in the figure that we will see okay so see students uh, what is the parallel sorted sequence what are the input and output list where the input and output list are stored so we assume that the input and output list are distributed and the sorted list is partition with property that each partition list is sorted and each element in the processor pi is list less than pj list if i is less than j now this is shown here a parallel compare and exchange operation process pi and pj send their elements to each other process pi keeps the minimum of ai and aj and pj keeps maximum of ai and aj now see uh, another uh, basics that is a uh, what is the parallel counterpart to the sequential comparator so if the processor has one element the compare and exchange operation stored the smaller elements at the processor with smaller id this can be done in a ts plus tw time okay this we have seen okay uh, we will move to this uh, figure where the compare split operation is shown you can see this figure explains about uh, we assume that the process pi and pj are neighbors and the communication channels are bidirectional okay then the communication cost of compare split operation is ts plus tw n by p as the block size increases the significance of ts decreases and for 
sufficiently large block it can be ignored thus the time required to merge the two sorted block of n by p element is big o of n by p the compare and split operation shown here each process sends its blocks of size n by p to other process each process merge the received block with its own block and retain only the appropriate half of the merged block so in this example process pi retain the smaller element and process pj retains the larger element as shown here now step number 1 you can see they exchange their block with one another and then they merge the receiving blocks with their original block and they retain okay they retain like here it is shown the pi retains the smaller element and pj retains the larger element as shown in the step number 4 okay now this is the basics and issues in sorting of parallel computers i hope that you understand what we are going to learn in this unit that is sorting and graph so i repeat quickly so we will discuss about the benefits of sorting we discuss the formal definition of sorting and we discuss the issues of sorting on parallel computers such as where the input and output sequence to store how comparisons are performed one element per process and more than one element per process and we discuss all these points with this slides like basics then a parallel compare and exchange operation and another example that is uh, sorting compare and split operation so i hope that you understand about the issues and basics of sorting okay thank you very much